I am the CEO of United Way Suncoast, so, you know, what that means is I'm a community collaborator, community builder, you know, regional leader that brings nonprofit organizations together to tackle the community's most toughest and most important issues. I applied for the job, but um, but I also know that this was this is my very intentional career path. So for me, um, I really needed a career that was having demonstrable impact in the community. And that's when I made the transition to the nonprofit sector, gosh, like 10 years ago. Um, and so that, that's really been um, the best decision I ever made in my career, is to be in a leadership role and to be serving the community um, by leading a nonprofit organization. You know, to me, um, you know, it's, it's, it's more than just having a job, right? So in order for our, I just believe in my heart of hearts, that in order for our community to be successful, we need a healthy and thriving community for all. I am the founder of a nonprofit called 200 Muslim Women Who Care. When my children were in preschool, a mom approached me and she had a flyer that she was putting in all the little kids' preschool folder. And I happened to be there when she was dropping it in and she explained the, the organization to me and it was like a giving circle concept. And I fell in love with that idea. And uh, me and my co-founder Farah, we decided that hey, let's try and do something like this um, within our own faith community. And so that's how we kind of launched the 200 Muslim Who Care. What I love most about the concept of the organization is just the education piece. It's like if you didn't know what was happening, you know, we're not always aware about what's happening within our community and um, everyone's lives are so busy, but this is just get, gets you an opportunity like four times a year to be able to say, hey, these are the struggling, you know, people within my neighborhood and may, how can I help them? How can I do my little part to make a difference? Mm -hmm. And so as a mom, when you volunteer, you meet other moms. And it's funny how the connection happens of other moms who are dedicated to service. That became my core group of 200 Muslim Who Care members. It was those 50 women that I met through my children's school that were giving the time, even though they worked, even though they had kids and families and responsibilities at home, every once in a while we would all pitch in and do our part for this small um, little Islamic school that our kids all went to. And we felt we were connected in that way. I accidentally found this. I, as I said, I wasn't going to get married. I was very career driven in my life. And when I sold my advertising agency, I was kind of wandering around trying to decide what I wanted to be when I grew up. And a friend of mine who was part of this nonprofit, she was a volunteer, she came to me and said, um, could come to come help this little nonprofit develop a marketing plan because they need help. Nobody knows about them. So I said, okay, so I came in and we did made a plan and then the, the then CEO said to me at the time, she said, uh, we love all of this. We're gonna do all of this, so we're gonna hire somebody. And I said, they'll just mess it up. I have to do it. So I came in as the director of development there and uh, established a marketing plan and grew it and then um, several years later I became the CEO there. I have so much faith now in intergenerational components of living that mm -hmm. people need people of different ages, diversity, it's a completely different lens now that I have on, on what people need to to feel supported and to feel like they can grow and feel like part of something. I have, I have kind of a big staff. I have 30 employees. We have over 900 volunteers. About 250 of them serve at least 15 hours per week. They're such an inspiration to me, such an inspiration. They just keep showing up for the kids and even kids that are, that are you know, really struggling and just being that person that's there for them and how the kids love them just for showing up for them, just for being there. I am the first female fire chief for the city of Tampa, so Tampa Fire Rescue. I have the entire city to be responsible for from an emergency management point, and I definitely want to do the best I can to protect the citizens and the community. You know, my goal as far as my legacy, I don't want you to remember me as the blight female chief. I want you to remember me as the chief who happened to be a woman and a woman of color. Um, I never saw myself being a firefighter. Um, a friend of mine, a neighbor of mine, um, introduced me to the fire service. And when he first told me about it, I told him, I said, it's too hot in Tampa to be putting out fires, you know? Because <laughs> yes. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what do you do? My impression of a fire service was four hour work week, putting out fires, you know, I said, no, it's too hot. Right. So later he started telling me the scope of the practice, you know, what exactly do firefighters do, you know? Told me about the hours, 
running calls, helping people, being a public servant. That was my calling. And I've been there ever since and haven't looked back. I run two after-school programs for migrant children, um, one in Waimama and one in Plant City. And so our program runs kindergarten to third grade. Um, the school refers the children who are at risk for failure. Um, and so they get referred to us and they can start in kindergarten and go as far as third grade. And then we'll get, you know, the families who are there have continuity of care. And so, you know, if they have a younger child and the younger child comes to us. So we've had some of the same families for five years. So one of the things that um, our program was a pilot program five years ago. And one of the things that the um, people who knew these communities said to us coming in, um, you will have a very hard time engaging these families. They are very hard to engage. Um, and uh, that is not what we found at all. <laughs>